Welcome back, Ed here, and today we got new blood work hot off the press to go over to explain to you guys the effectiveness of Clomid and Novadex. Now, before we get into this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Drop a comment below, anything you want to see in these upcoming videos. With that, let's jump into it. This video is not condoning or supporting the use of uh, clomiphene or tamoxifen at all. This is just to show you whether it's effective or not. So, I don't know if you guys seen my previous video, but I did get blood work done uh, following the completion of my third steroid cycle. That video, you can check that out there. But yeah, I got that blood work done. I believe it was five days into my PCT, and then I just got more blood work done 10 days following that. So, this would have been about two weeks or so into my PCT. So, we have information for you guys about my blood work and my testosterone five days into my PCT versus 15 days into my PCT and we're going to look at the difference and see whether this PCT is effective or not whether these drugs work and do what they say they're supposed to do so looking at my first blood work here from January 31st my testosterone came in at a 74 very low this is five days into my PCT of taking Clomid at 50 milligrams per day and Novadex at 40 milligrams per day so five days in looks like it didn't really do much for me I mean I'm sure I was probably zeroed out so 74 is better than zero but 74 is by no means good that's terrible that's way low nobody wants a 74 testosterone I don't know what to say, guys. That's that's not good. You don't want that. Anyway, 10 days later, continuing my same regimen of 50 milligrams of Clomid a day and 40 milligrams of Novadex a day, the results are looking much better. This blood work was taken on February 10th. My testosterone is up from 74 to 324 so that's an increase of 250 nanograms per deciliter in just 10 days I think that's pretty damn good most of the time you hear guys if they don't do a PCT it's gonna take like three or four months for your testosterone and you know your semen quality quantity to return to normal uh, three or four months is a long time. I'm at the bottom of the range here with a 324, but I'm in the normal range after two weeks of a PCT. So this PCT is working kind of quicker than I expected it to. Um, again, 324 isn't great. Much better than 74, though. Uh, another thing to note, my LH and FSH, those are two things that we want to jumpstart when we do our PCTs. That's the whole point of taking the clomiphene and the tamoxifen in the first place, is to increase the production of LH and FSH, which signal from your pituitary to your nuts to make testosterone and semen on their own. So we want to get that process kick-started up fast as we can. So, my LH is actually pretty high. So, normal range for your LH is going to fall between 1.7 and 8.6. I'm currently at a 10.5 here, which is high. I'm above the normal, which is good. That means the PCT was effective. Um, I don't know the numbers of my LH and FSH before. I only got those two pieces of information on the second blood test. So, I don't have a reference to compare it to from the first one, but 10.5, very good, very high. That means my pituitary is signaling to my nuts to go into overdrive to make testosterone and semen. Good news. We want to see that. Same thing with FSH. Normal range 1.5 to 12.4. I'm at an 8.4. So, for both of these, I'm not below normal. I'm right in the normal range or even above normal which is great to see so 10 days I went from 74 to 324 testosterone 
And in the two weeks of my PCT, my LH and FSH have returned to normal or better than normal levels. So, did this PCT work? I'm actually still in the PCT. I start week four of my PCT tomorrow. So, I'm going to say this PCT is very effective. This is a great protocol. Um, a lot of people will add HCG to their PCT protocol, but looking at my blood work, I really almost don't see a need for it. If I see that big of an improvement in 10 days, well, why even bother? HCG is hard to find too, but uh, yeah, so I'm not saying everybody go pop Clomid and Novodex to like increase your testosterone, but if you're coming off of a steroid cycle and you're wondering whether these are worth it or not, definitely worth it. So there you go. There are the numbers. So you guys have something to look at, uh, some piece of information so you're not going in blind when you're conducting your own research. All right, that's all I got for you today. So you guys take care. Let me know any questions you got. All right, head out. Bye-bye.